Hello and welcome to another edition of Crypto with Chingus. My name is Chingus. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the very foundations of charts. Um, quick video on a chart layout. Things you're going to see when you first open up your first chart in a uh, in a charting platform, um, so that you're not confused. Um, yeah, let's do it. taking a look at a program called trading view um, they do have a they do have free accounts so you can get on there and you can start doing this right away uh, even if you wanted to follow along I don't mind waiting <sighs> just type it in Ooh, Ooh that's brutal okay <laughs> All right, come on, let's do this. Um, so when you first open up a chart, you're gonna have default settings all over the place, and that's fine. Right now, we're looking at a monthly chart um, that just has candlesticks and volume. Very simple, nothing crazy. So I wanna go over what you're gonna see on here so that you have a foundation moving forward when we start getting into more TA videos, charting videos, and, um, and, and things of that nature. So as long as you have a foundation, you can at least get to the indicators, you can get to the drawing tools, you can put up the certain time frames uh, without having to funnel around and, and figure out where everything is. So let's get started. On the, on the left hand side, these are drawing tools. Uh, everything from your line tools, trend lines, horizontal rays, uh, parallel channels, uh, the, all the basics you would need to draw a simple trend line, nothing crazy, Boom, boom, there. You just got yourself a trend line and now you're a charting master. All right, here, let's move on. Uh, this next one here, this is uh, Fibonacci's. You can get to your Fibonacci retracements, trend-based Fib extensions, Fib spirals, um, Fib channels, anything Fib related you'll probably find in that zone. Then you get into drawing shapes, uh, rectangles. Typically, I'll use those for buy and sell zones or support and resistance zones. Uh, triangles, where you could try to draw um, a couple wedges or what, what have you there. Uh, double curves, I don't use all that often, but they are important to have. Arcs, I'll typically draw for like a cup and handle. Simple stuff. You have another one here uh, for text related. So you can have a call out that you could put uh, price call outs, price labels. You could do um, a little note to yourself saying, okay, if I buy at this zone, I'm gonna set a target over here. Simple things like that. The next one, this gives you into patterns, um, everything from Elliott waves so that you could do impulse waves, you could do uh, cycle lines, you could do X, A, B, C, D patterns. Uh, those are the fancy little butterfly ones that you see on there. The next one is set for long and short positions. Those are really cool. This will allow you to say, all right, here's my target price. And then this is what I'm willing to, to risk. Uh, wow, that, <laughs> that thing, I think really took on a, a mind of its own there. That's. That's a big risk. We're, we're just going to get rid of that. This button over here is undo. So that's that's something you might find useful if that happens. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, but date range, price range, these are just good information types of indicators that you may want. Then they got this option here, which is just a whole bunch of uh, different little icons you could put on there. And then they got a measurement tool, a ruler, so that you could say, all right, well, this is... You know, that's 21 bars, we're on a monthly, so that's 21 months, and you know, we since from this zone to this zone, uh, down 95%. Okay, so very easy, basic stuff. Let's move on. Uh, on the top here, we have time frames. So right now we're in a monthly view. We can change that to a weekly view, and obviously the, uh, the chart itself will change. Okay, that's simple. You wanna get into a daily view, you could do the daily view. You wanna get into a four hour, a one hour, 78 minute, one minute, whatever the case may be. Uh, those are your options as far as where you can go. Now you can, if you're, it depends on the account that you have, some of these won't be available to you, uh, but you could get into any one of those from this little drop down here. You have an option of what kind of candles you wanna use. Again, some of these are in the, uh, the paid version, so not all of these are available to everybody. But while we're on the top row here, let's get into something called indicators, um, where let's say you wanted to throw on some Bollinger Bands, now you have them, very simple. 
Um, so indicators, this is this is something that you're going to get into uh, as we get deeper and deeper into TA because some indicators are very good. Uh, some of them will, will give you a little bit more information as far as price action, where things are headed, how they're moving, the, the sort of strength behind a particular move. Uh, all really cool things. As we roll over to the right side of the screen, this is price. So that's very simple. Uh, this particular line right here is where we're currently trading at. So we can see it looks like uh, 66.95 is where we're currently at. Uh, down at the bottom, this is volume. So this will show you uh, volume indicators as far as the volume that has happened in that particular candle for that particular period of time. So we're in the daily right here. So we could take a look at, you know, how strong a particular move was based off of the volume that we had behind it. Underneath that in this small bar, you'll notice that these are dates. All right, so September, September 5th, 10th, 17th, depending on your view, let's say you go down to a, you know, a 15 minute chart, this is gonna now change to time instead of date. So that, that should make sense as far as the scale that you're looking at things in. Um, underneath that, now this is a quick zoom out feature is what I call it. Let's say you wanted to go to five year, swing this over to auto down here in the bottom right. And this is what it looks like in five years. Let's take those Bollinger Bands off. This is what it looks like in the five year period. If you wanna look at six month, uh, this is your six month view. They automatically changed it for you to a two hour to fit that on the screen. Let's say you just wanted to look at what happened in the last five days, no problem. Now we're on a five minute chart and this is five days worth of uh, trading on that chart. So that's something very simple that you can get to um, you know, keep things nice and easy. Now, again, this is a default chart. You can make that chart look any way you want. Uh, to give you an idea, this is one of my other charts. This is using Super Guppy. Uh, it has a volume profile over here on the right, but it's very clean, it's very basic. Um, I can get to everything I need to get to and look at it real quick, as opposed to another one of my charts where there's a lot of noise on here. You got a TTM squeeze, you got a, a stock RSI, a MACD, you got volume information, you got the volume bars, uh, the whole nine yards. Now, if, if I unhide my drawing tools, I know. Yeah, oh boy. So let's not do that again. Um, but that'll give you an idea of the the, the scale of, uh, to which and how comprehensive some of these platforms are so that you can get all that information on there, see what you need to see. Um, this gives you the option where you can go ahead and just zoom just the chart if you just wanted to look at that, clean that up. But let's say I wanted to get real into... Um, uh, the TTM over here and I, and I want to see you know what's really shaking I can really get that on full screen make it look real nice and then I can really dive in there and that's per indicator so that's pretty cool a uh, feature you may use from time to time um, so you know it's good to have it's good to know where it is and this is why we make this video right I want you to know where everything is and how to access those things so that you can follow along in videos to come. All right, so uh, so that's it. Um, real quick, real easy, real basic, nothing too fancy here, um, but I do wanna lay that groundwork down for you so that you do have a, a better idea on what's going on in future videos. All right, so until then, I'll see you on the exchanges and uh, happy trading. Yeah, Ooh, quick and easy. Bottom of the barrel. Ooh. Bottom of the barrel, right there. Yeah, that's that's some rough, rough, rough stuff.